G'day everyone, Astro Cycle here from Canberra. This is the uh, first motor vlog of many to come, I hope. Just leaving work now, and I thought I'd take a bit of a windy way home because I hate traffic. So, what we're going to do is going to take a little run around the edge of the lake, it's a really nice twisty road um, that you wouldn't expect was there unless you knew about it and we're literally, well we just went past Old Parliament House um, on the right, that road goes straight to Civic which is on the other side of the bridge so we're literally a kilometre from the city here and we're just about to start this uh, nice windy road with our friends here ever get out of our way which might go around them eh? Fuck it. This area's got a lot of embassies. That's the Chinese embassy there, obviously. So here we come down, we're at the lake now. So this is the beginning of the road that I'm talking about. Old mate here is going to move out of the way. If you ever see a DC plate, be scared. This is one of many ways I can go home. Um, I can mix it up with the traffic if I really want to. Can't really avoid it in the morning. There's always going to be a few bottlenecks, but it's always pretty easy to get to work in about 15-20 minutes. I think anywhere in Canberra is within a 45 minute drive. It's uh, certainly good from that perspective. There's a lot of nice twisty roads that are close by too. 10 minutes from my house I've got um, Cotter. Anyone from Canberra knows about Cotter. There's plenty of roads out there, a few loops you can do that are just beautiful. And, you know, right on your doorstep. I think we'll do Cotter on the next Moto Vlog. Why not? Because it's worth a look. I think these Moto Vlogs are going to be more about roads than traffic. Um, though it's impossible to avoid our lovely friends in cages. Um, the road out to Goulburn, you can either choose to go the highway or you can go uh, Bungendore, Tarrago and then through to Goulburn that way past uh, Wakefield Park, the race circuit, magic ride and uh, you know less than an hour to get to Goulburn is the road down to the coast, the coast is about an hour and a half, Batemans Bay, hour and a half to two hours depending and you get to go down the Clyde, which is a pretty nice mountain road. Most of the time you're stuck behind somebody. So Canberra's a pretty quiet place to live, I guess. But it's a bloody good place to live if you've got a bike. And so I thought, you know, somebody should get out there and start uh, showing everyone what a good riding place it is. It's not just politics, politicians and public servants. Politicians don't even live here. They all live in their constituencies, so... Uh, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, wherever. And they only come here when uh, Parliament sits. I don't think any Prime Minister has lived in the Lodge for a long time, except for Julia Gillard, and she wasn't there for that long. So sorry, that was the end of my nice twisty road. So I'm going to make my way back up to the uh, real road now. And uh, it's a good way to end the day. Good way to start the day too. I 
truck I'm riding is a uh, Yule Ulysses 1200cc V twin and it's a, a bit of a beast low revving 5 speed long gears so first gear you can push up to 70 k's an hour almost as you can see it only goes up to um, 6,000 before it red lines at 7,000 rpm so I don't spend all day changing gear it's a bit forgiving I a new front tyre at the moment so it's not the prettiest thing to corner at the moment It does have a Harley-ish engine inside it and it does turn corners which makes it a bit different to Harley's yeah. Let's wait for these guys There's been some crazy ass accidents at this intersection before they put the lights in People used to just drift out in front of this traffic and this traffic's doing 80 k's an hour There's um, a bit of a problem with people going really slow in 80 kilometers an hour zones around the place, most of them on bikes push bikes that is they seem to think they're uh, invincible because it's their right to be there which is a bit of a recipe for disaster I like to think that if I'm on a push bike that I'm vulnerable and that I'm going to stay away from cars and motorbikes and trucks and buses of course on a motorbike you can at least go the same speed and get out of the way of people might do a bit of lane, oh wow, Canberra lane filtering, two cars, look out everyone the lane filtering has only just become legal in the ACT so those people behind me that are just filtered between are probably raging right now How dare he beat me I'd, I've tried it a couple of times over the last couple of weeks It only became legal at the beginning of February And uh, you get beeped quite regularly Because people don't realise that it's actually illegal now Or don't care Don't worry about me mate Yeah, they get a bit frustrated because of the 14 seconds of traffic they've got to wait in in the morning coming up to probably one of the worst places obviously not now at this time of day but in the morning from about uh, quarter to eight to 9 30 this road uh, is just a car park going in the opposite direction to what I'm going now and that's because there's two lanes of this road that merge into one at the same time that this other road, as you can see down on the right there, that comes in and merges at the same spot. So you've got three lanes merging into one and high volumes of traffic and it just becomes a 500 metre car park. But in saying that, that's my only bit of traffic in the morning to come to work. Nothing to complain about really. And if you really want to, you can filter. This thing's a beast, it's about 80 feet wide, well it feels it. And uh, the handlebars being a high bike, it's quite a high bike. Which sucks when I'm trying to uh, make a green light go, or make a, sorry, a red light go green. Because it won't pick you up on the little pads sometimes. Because the muffler is metal but it's quite high. The muffler is under slung on this. And uh, yeah, so being a high bike, it's uh, also a high centre of gravity, keeps it interesting. Good fun bike to ride though, sounds good too, it's got a modified muffler on it, basically they've had the baffles 
busted out and um, and two outlets rather than one. These bikes come out with a standard one outlet and uh, the guy that does it makes makes it come out both sides and I just customize a couple of stainless steel baffles that we'll have a look at at some stage. Cool bike to ride though. I love this bike. This is what you consider high volume traffic. No, not really. Yeah, so all the cyclists have been put on the road. So that little strip on the left there, that's for cyclists. Fucked if I'm going to be riding on that on a push bike. All it takes is one dickhead on their phone texting, and you're you're dead. Or a truck. A truck wouldn't even notice that they ran over you. So there was a really awesome uh, network of bike paths in Canberra, but they decided uh, to put all the money into on-road cycling. Funnily enough, there's been a lot of deaths, but it's their right to die because they were on the high moral ground. I prefer not to be on the high moral ground, I prefer to just stay alive. Alright, well that's my first motor vlog everyone. I'm almost home now, so um, I don't want you to know where I live. <laughs> um, yeah, so next one we'll go out to Cotter and we'll have a bit of a look at one of the roads out there. And I might show you the morning traffic so you get all jealous at uh, how little traffic we have to deal with down here. Alright, thanks very much everyone. And uh, subscribe. Out.